Hello everyone. Today I have an example solve for 7x7. Seven seven. I currently average around 245 and I use the Yao method. The cube I'll be using is the Aofu WRM, so let's get started. So I solve on white and yellow only since I use Yao. And I think I will start with the white center here. So immediately what I see is this 2x1, this. Uh, two by one and this center here so I can make my first bar with these three things and then uh, my second bar can be made with this 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 and this probably so the solution I'll be doing is something like u prime to move this over here Move this 2 by one in, F2, and then move that back. Then I'll be doing uh, pair up like this. Do something like this. Rotate over here. Use this piece, pair it up, and do something like this to insert onto the left. Now, next thing I see is this, these three, and then I saw this while moving this bar in. So I'm going to do something like that to pair up and that to insert into the left. Next, I see probably, probably going to do something with these three pieces. So I can do something like this while well, I see something is down here. So I'll move that in. The last um, piece for this inner bar is there. So I'm going to pair it up like this, and then before inserting, I'm going to move. I'm going to do U, so I can not have this because this is a bad case, but instead have them split up. So I can pair it like this. See this center, and then this center. So I can do something like that, and then uh, insert into the left. Next, I have. Um, these two and then this so I can do something like this and then rotate skew this piece and then finish off the inner bar um, these three and this can go like that and that now I see these four and then this but Okay, I guess that doesn't matter. So you can do something like this. And then I see a wide move insert would make a T like this. So next I'm going to make a 1 by 3 and then finish off the T. So maybe something like this. Um, finish it like that. And then finally I see these three. I saw a piece back here. And then this one. Something like this. And then... I'm going to insert like this onto the right and I'm looking ahead to cross edges and I see red white here and here so I'll probably start with that so pair up I see two here which is nice and then I see my final one here and I want to insert my first cross edge into the bottom whenever I can so I'm going to insert it like that next I see blue and white with this, 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 and this. So I can do something like this, like that, and then insert like that, and then move that down. Finally, probably going to go with orange and white because I see these and these, and then now I see this. So I'm going to do something like this, like that something like that to pair in or move in four of the five and then do something like this to pair up the last one and then yeah so next you can do something like that to pair up the middle bar and then these five pieces here one two three four five can do something like this 
all with slice moves. I don't think that's the best solution, but that's what I thought of. And then finally, you have something like this, where you can do something like, okay, these three and then these two. Like that. Next, you have these three. I could, I saw these two down here, and then um, something like that. Next, final bar, like that. Next, you have these three, something like this, and then this. Okay, this is nice. I have this. 2x2 two two here, this 2x2, two two, and then this 2x1, which I can make into a 2x5. So how I'm going to do that is like this, and then do this, and then insert, realign. Next I have these, and then I can cancel into insertion like that, and then finally I have these four, these four pieces in this one, which I can solve like that. Um, nice pop. <laughs> One second. Okay, that's what happens when your turning is so bad that you pop in a slow song. Anyways, whatever. Next I see these four, which I can do something like that to pair, pair, start pairing up this middle bar. Then I see that. Then I can do something maybe like this. Then... That makes up these, these four, slice it, do something like that, and then insert. I see this nice pattern, and then here I see um, this, which I can just do like that. Last cross edge. Um, and spare. Insert and then now free slice edges. Not much to look at here. Um, so there's the first edge. Second edge. Um, third edge. And and there's your first four edges. Next, you can do something like this to kick out two, and then move on to the last four edges, which I think is better if you do edge by edge, so that's what I'm going to do. So I paired out these three. I'm going to cycle in the fourth piece, and then finally cycle in this last piece while solving this inner three. And then I can pair up this, and then something like this. So this way, when you pair up edge by edge instead of the middle three, you can first you can do like two last two edge algorithms simultaneously. So there's that, and then you can go straight into the second one, something like that, and then three by three stage. nice last layer and there's this all so yeah thanks for watching hope you could learn something from that and if you enjoyed please subscribe and like for more content